More than a decade after the initial lawsuit was filed, a victim is getting a payout from the Citadel after being sexually assaulted by a former camp counselor. Michael Higdon joins us now to break down the lawsuit and let us know how much money is going to the victim. Yeah, Roth and the mother uh, of the victim actually filed this initial complaint back in 2011 regarding actions by this man accused of uh, in charged uh, a rapist, Louis Skip Reville, through the South Carolina Insurance Reserve Fund. The Citadel is shelling out $788,000. Reville was a camp counselor at the Citadel from 2000 to 2006. Well, in May of 2007, the Citadel received information that in 2001 and 2002, Reville had on the premises of the Citadel engaged in sexually inappropriate conduct with multiple children under the age of 16 at the summer camp. The lawsuit states that the Citadel investigated and shared the information with the South Carolina Insurance Reserve Fund. That information, however, according to the lawsuit, was not shared with law enforcement employers of Reville or parents of children around whom Reville worked. When well, the fall of 2007, the plaintiff's child began taking athletic supervision from Reville in Mount Pleasant. The lawsuit states that the Citadel knew or should have known Reville had undertaken another job with children and stayed silent about Reville's sexual misconduct. Back in 2012, Reville was sentenced to 50 years in prison after pleading guilty to 22 child sex charges in Berkeley, Charleston and Dorchester counties. For Life 5 News, I'm Michael Higdon, rough.